cabinet makes available really high resolution 3D and 2D images of museum objects. When you think about the founding of the University Museums, you know, that began really with Elias Ashmole bringing his collection to the university. And it was a collection that was supposed to be taught with, it was supposed to be in use for teaching and for research. And since then, the collections have grown immeasurably. The teaching collections, they are at the heart of what we do. Now we're hoping to sort of renovate that. So Cabinet began as many great things do over coffee. We started talking about how we'd love to see many more objects in teaching and learning. A handling session, wonderful and enriching as it is, there can't be enough of them. So Cabinet makes beautiful, high resolution copies of museum objects available to the students. So they get a sense of a handling session, a virtual handling session whenever they need one. You can drop in three-dimensional visualization so that students can turn objects around and look at them from multiple directions. You can provide commentaries. You can annotate those images. You can drop in videos which explain how some of this material works and so on. You can link out to other examples of similar objects elsewhere to compare and contrast them with. You can interlink the objects with one another. The capacity for students to learn about whole constellations of physical objects is absolutely transformed by this new medium. It's very difficult to contemplate going back to doing things the old-fashioned way. So this term I've been using it for my scientific module, so there's been loads of different objects from the new world that they've discovered and scientific instruments that have been invented particularly in the 17th century, which is the time period that I'm studying, and seeing those and having never seen something like that before was definitely a like wow moment for me. A microscope, for instance, is one of the things that I've been looking at, and you can see how a particular valve works or where a particular part of the microscope is from. I'm really interested in material culture, particularly because of cabinet, so my coursework will be about objects and how they tell us about society. I think it could help a lot in terms of cultural awareness. So we could see different objects from different countries, understand them in an anthropological sense, find out more about the particular thing. I've never used anything technical in my teaching, uh, not even PowerPoint actually, so I'm like a real novice. But I found it actually surprisingly easy to use. It was actually a kind of, well, almost like a cabinet of drawers that you could open and actually find, you know, an orderly accumulation of materials that would enrich a student's experience. I found it really a very creative way of, of teaching and very, very different from anything that I'd done before. It's definitely energised and, and kind of changed the way that I've, that I've taught, definitely. I don't think I fully realised the extent to which my engagement with the material I teach was being held back by the incapacity to engage students with visual materials, with material culture, with the built environment. Once you've built up a resource, it isn't something that just vanishes. It has, you know, tr tremendous possibilities for people which haven't yet really fully been explored. People aren't really sure what we're doing and why we're doing it until they've seen Cabinet. As soon as they see it, they see so many opportunities there. They see ways that it could bring something that they teach to life. I think it definitely democratises objects. You know, they're there for study, they're there for examining, they're there for you to really engage with deeply without being afraid. We can knock down the walls of the ivory tower and, and reveal to broader publics what we do within the university. I can't think of a more extraordinary opportunity available to this university uh, than to be at the very centre of that project. It's of historical significance.